Shimke has made it to his big day. It's overkill. <laughs> it's overkill. <laughs> what are you talking about? You love every minute of it. Yeah. And this morning he held court at the village coffee shop where over 150 friends dropped by to celebrate. Feels just like when I was 90. No change. He's been coming to this cafe every day for the past 35 years for breakfast. Oatmeal every morning. With coffee and something else a little later. A glass of red wine one a day. Art worked for General Mills in town, but before that he took snow surveys in the Sierra in the 30s. We used to ski all the way up, way into Highland Lake and take snow surveys. Spend the night up there and survey and come back. He also was a commercial trapper selling his catch to furriers in San Francisco. But when asked about his many professions, he of course answers with humor. Lying. <laughs> I was good at it. <laughs> but he turns a bit more serious when he tells stories of his service in World War II. He was in the 10th Mountain Division and was beside former Kansas Senator Bob Dole when he was shot in combat. Couldn't get him off of the mountain because we didn't have helicopters them days. And by the time we got the litter bearers up there, he almost bled to death, you know. Art himself has two purple hearts for combat injuries. It runs in the family. His older sister lived to be 103. It's quickly apparent that along with oatmeal and red wine, Vino Rosa. friends and family have helped Art along his path. I think it's got something to do with family genes. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Oh, my. Don't go away. Stay here. In Lodi, Will Hereford, KCRA 3 News.